Welcome to Bowl Game Radio. They reverse it to Shipley. Now he's going to throw the ball to Ash at the five to the goal line. Touchdown, Texas. A little razzle-dazzle. With Bruce Binkowski and Mark Neville. Moves it downfield. Got a receiver there. Caught at the 15, 10, 5. He scores. Bowl Game Radio on San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. Hello, everybody, and uh, thanks for tuning in to another edition of Bowl Game Radio here on the Mighty 1090. I'm Bruce Benkowski, and we're going to find out if my cohort, uh, Mark Neville, is also on the line. Mark, are you there? I'm here. All right, Mark Neville is joining us. Mark, Mark, this is the bowl season. Uh, I want to tell our listening audience, this is the bowl season, and I'm here in studio. And, Mark, where are you since you're not in studio with me? I am currently at Lindbergh Field. San Diego International Airport, on my way to Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, you will be promoting San Diego for the Nebraska fans to come out here to uh, be a part of our bowl games. And what we're going to be talking about tonight is Bowl Game Radio, the San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl, which is a Tuesday, December the 23rd at Qualcomm Stadium, San Diego State University Aztecs against the United States Naval Academy. And then on December the 27th, at 5 o'clock kickoff, the National University Holiday Bowl, the Southern California Trojans, and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. So Mark Neville is with us from a remote area, the airport. Hopefully we'll still be... uh, When are you bored? you bored soon? I board... Oh, I board in about an hour or so. So I got plenty of time for bowl game radio. And Bruce, the 2014 college football regular season is just about complete. Just one more game to go. The Army-Navy game, of course, this coming weekend. And thank you for joining us as we prepare for San Diego's postseason college football bowl game. Just as Bruce mentioned, the National University Holiday Bowl and the San Diego County Credit Union Point Study Bowl. So we're going to be talking to... uh, We've got three guests today on bowl game radio... Of course, the coach, Ted Tolner, will be with us in just a couple of moments. Uh, Kevin Gemmel, the Pac-12 analyst at ESPN.com, will be with us. And uh, Sam McKeon, a Nebraska beat writer for the Omaha World Herald. So we're going to give you a preview of both of our games. And before we get started, uh, we'd like to remind you to like us uh, on each of our Facebook pages and follow us on Twitter at Poinsettia Bowl and at Holiday Bowl Game. All right, Ted Tolner, are you with us? I'm here, but right. to some interview. All right. We have Ted Tolner. Ted, uh, you're joining us. We're going to talk about our two games. We also have Mark Neville. He is at the airport, so we're doing this kind of by the seat of our pants. So, All right. So we'll, <laughs> make, we'll make it work. Come on. All we'll right. Do it this way. So that being said, let's first talk about the San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl, San Diego State Aztecs, and the Naval Academy. So, Coach, kind of give us your overview of the game as you see it heading into uh, the 10th anniversary game. You know, I think it's an excellent game uh, choice of the, of the two opponents. I mean, here you've here you got the, the, the university in town, San Diego State, again qualifying for a bowl, five in a row now, I believe it is, and then Navy with so much influence. So just, just the fact that it's Navy and San Diego State, that's a great matchup, I, I believe. You know, I mean, uh, Navy struggled early, but they fought back. Their offense is going now. They're going to they're going to create that that option situation that that Rocky Long's teams have always done well against. And I think San Diego State is healthier now than they've been all year. So I, I believe we're going to get an excellent football team a game with two teams that are that are really more at full strength now than they were most of the season. You know, I think one of the uh, interesting things about the uh, San Diego County Credit Union Point Study Bowl is you have San Diego State, which uh, is playing a lot better, and you have a Naval Academy team that can score a lot of points and give up a lot of points. So yeah. the question is, could you see an old-fashioned uh, shootout uh, on the Qualcomm Stadium turf on the, uh, December the 23rd? Well, yeah, that could happen, but I... I... I believe that that San Diego State will do well against the option, even though they've been Navy's been playing very well of late. I think they'll do well, but yeah, there'll be some points scored. I don't I don't see it as being a three score to two score type game or two score to one, whether that's field goals or touchdowns. I think we'll be in the twenties and above, both teams. Hey, hey coach, uh, you know, a question about this option uh, or whatever they what do they call that offense. Uh, uh, I know Rocky Long is experienced uh, to uh, uh, defense against that, but how, as a coach, how difficult it is to go from one standard uh, offense that you see game after game, and all of a sudden the Naval Academy comes in with this crazy option, uh, quarterback, run, pass, whatever they call it. 
Well, you know, there's all kinds of names for it, but basically there's there's a three-phase option where there's a dive phase to it, there's a quarterback keep the ball phase to it, and then there's a pitch off of that that goes to regardless of who that other guy is that pitches. So those three phases, the thing that's tough about it, it's hard to gang tackle. It's an assignment game defensively. Somebody must have the dive more than one at times. Somebody has to be capable of stopping the quarterback when he keeps it, which is very tough because Navy's quarterback is outstanding. And then the third phase is really a combination of pitching it or play action off of that. So what they do is they isolate you. And, and there's all kinds of names for it. It's a zone read option. It's a triple option. But in the end, you've got to take care of the dive, the quarterback, the pitch, and the play action off it, whatever you want to call it. There's a number of names for it. And it's difficult because they do isolate you. You're listening to Bowl Game Radio on the Mighty 1090. I'm Bruce Binkowski. Joining us is the coach, Ted Tolner, as he does every week. And Mark Neville, somewhere out there. Mark, are you I still there? Here, all right. Bruce, I am here. However, I cannot hear the coach. But I do have a question for him, and hopefully he can hear me. We're getting two teams in, in the Point Study Bowl in Navy and San Diego State that seem to be peaking right now. Are we getting San Diego State and Navy at their best? Coach, that's for you. I'm, I couldn't hear you. Oh, okay. You, you, okay, I'll, I'll be the translator. Uh, oh, so what? Perfect. we have a little technical issue here. What's happening is that uh, Mark can hear me. Ted can hear me, but Mark and Ted can't hear each other. Correct. So that is, that, that's accurate. So, <laughs> so, so, Mark, what Mark was asking is, uh, and I wasn't listening, so I'm going to guess what he said. Per <laughs> normal, I would say. <laughs> Do you think uh, these two teams are peaking at the right time? Was that basically what you asked, Neville? Uh, for a couple reasons, you know. I mean, as the season goes on, you have your injuries. Now, with a little bit of a break, they were playing strong to finish the season. And now they've got the guys that were hurt healthy. So, yes, we're get, I think we're going to get the best of the Navy and San Diego State football uh, program this year in our game when they finally get to play on the 23rd. Okay, guys, now some ground rules here on this interview because okay. you can't hear Ted, Mark, and Mark, <laughs> no, Ted can't hear you. You guys can't talk at the same time. So I'll kind of guide you both through this because uh, you guys all talked together at the same time, which was actually riveting radio. But <laughs> nevertheless, so here, here we go. So, so we do know that San Diego State and Navy are both teams ready to play in a bowl game. Now, Coach, the Naval Academy still has another game. They've got the uh, Army-Navy game, uh, which is on the 13th this coming Saturday. Uh, what's their preparation like for this game since they're not even thinking bowl game right now, or do they just push the bowl game aside until after the Army game? I think you have to do that, and it's tough sometimes. When you, when you know you got a bowl game, what, 10 days later or whatever it is, but you have to play them one at a time. And they, I, I would bet anything. I mean, they want to come into the game with a 7-5 and five record, not a 6-6, six and six, even though they got a, a bowl game guaranteed. You want to come in in a high. You want to come in feeling good about yourself. And you definitely want to beat Army if you go to the Naval Academy. So I, I can't imagine them overlooking the Army football team instead of looking at, and, and, and being okay with San Diego State. They'll put that for off for a week. You're listening to Bowl Game Radio on the Mighty 1090. I'm Bruce Binkowski along with uh, Ted Tolner and Mark Neville. And again, uh, because Ted can hear, can't hear Mark, Mark can't hear Ted, but I can hear both of them. I'm kind of the middleman here. So, Mr. Neville, I'm going back to you. Do you have a question for the coach? Well, I was just going to say, you know, I, I can't hear Ted, but I know that what he's saying is right on the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, and by the As way, if, if you're interested in uh, in tickets to the uh, San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl, you can go to uh, sandiegobowlgames.com, order your tickets, or you can stop by Window B at Qualcomm Stadium. That's Window B at Qualcomm Stadium, open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, all the way till game time, uh, to purchase tickets to see what we think is going to be quite an exciting football game. Uh, Ted, we talked about the Navy offense. Uh, what about the Aztecs offense? Uh, the quarterback has been injured. He's struggled a little bit, but they also have a star running back. So do you see uh, Rocky Long spending a lot of time on the ground game, or is he going to mix it up with passing and uh, the, uh, the rushing attack? I believe there'll be a mix, but they're going to make them stop the run. I mean, Pumphrey's been good all year, and they've had some some other guys get some carries too. But they're going to they're going to say you prove that you can stop the run. And and with that though, they can't get trapped into running against an extra man on the line of scrimmage. That eight man front or seven man front against six or 
nine men. You know, it was all kind of ways to get one more defender up there on the line. And from a formation standpoint, you've got to be able to throw the football or they'll stop the run. So there has to be a certain degree of balance. All right, so we've talked about the game. Uh, we've talked about how to get tickets, sandiegobowlgames.com. So now I want to talk to Mark Neville. So, Mark, I'm going to throw this back over to you now, and I want you to talk about what, what we're doing locally for San Diego State to try and get San Diego State fans from out of town to come into town and some of the promotion uh, ideas we have going with the Aztecs uh, for the San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl. And, yeah, you know, that's a good point, Bruce. When we're really uh, working in partnership with San Diego State to get as many Aztec fans out to the game. I think it's very important for San Diego State and, and frankly, for our nonprofit effort to get as many fans to Qualcomm Stadium on the 23rd to really show the country that San Diego State has a, a loyal and, and very uh, active fan base. And so we've come up with a plan working with San Diego State to really spread the word, and, and hopefully the fans will respond and, and we'll have a, a great crowd at Qualcomm Stadium. And one of the things you've been talking about, and uh, Coach, this is, for Ted, uh, this is for Mark Neville, so you've got to be quiet again. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark, what about the San Diego State-cation we've been talking about? Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing to bring up there, Bruce. We, so what we're trying to do, and, and again, the whole reason I'm here in the airport is to fly to Omaha to, to try and bring as many fans to San Diego as possible that are, that are Nebraska fans, and our mission is to generate tourism and economic benefit. Well, when we have San Diego State, we have a little challenge there uh, in that fans are already here. So what we're trying to do is, is to make this year's San Diego County Creighton and Point Study Bowl a memorable San Diego State experience. And so we came up, and I can't, I can't uh, take credit for the – for the phrase San Diego State Cation. That was Del Lewis, a board member of ours. Um, but we've come up with the San Diego State Cation, and we're encouraging fans to, to make a vacation of this bowl trip, make it a, a bowl experience that, that fans will never forget. And uh, if they go to goaztec.com and they get their ticket, uh, they will uh, be uh, led right back to our website to, uh, to make that trip. And one final question for Coach Ted Tolner. we got one more show after this, Coach, but and I'm not going to ask you to make a prediction or anything. This is more as a head coach, and you coached in many bowl games. Even though the Aztecs are not traveling out of town, it's going to be a home, uh, a home bowl game for them. What does the bowl experience mean to these kids, especially the seniors? Oh, I think it's, to me, it's the number one reason why I feel so strong that we do not have too many bowl games overall because it's, it, it is a tremendous experience for, for young guys. I mean, they, they, football is demanding year-round now, and to have a bowl game, whether it's in your town or you travel to it. I know when we were in the, in the Rose Bowl and I was at USC, it was in our town, but it was still a great experience. I've had a chance to participate in the Holiday Bowl and the Poinsettia Bowl and what San Diego, what, what you people have done over the years. Uh, to create an environment for young people to have a great time, experience some camaraderie together. It's, I think it's why so many bowl games are not too many. The more youngsters that can experience that, the better it is, in my opinion. And we always talk about the uh, student-athlete experience for uh, these bowl games. And, and, and for some of these kids, it's the biggest game of their career. So uh, we're looking forward to the 10th uh, annual San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl, San Diego State and the United States Naval Academy on December the 23rd at Qualcomm Stadium. Coach Ted Tolner, thanks for joining us, and we will talk to you next week for the final show of the season, and uh, we'll ask you for your predictions. Uh, All right, Bruce, week. I don't know how you pulled this off. We kept from setting talk radio back too far. <laughs> I think we did. I think we pulled it off. All right, that's Bruce. Coach Ted Tolner. But, but uh, now, Mark, you're still there. Am I allowed to speak? You can now can speak? speak. All right. Because you, uh, you're going to have quite an experience coming up this weekend, aren't you? You're going somewhere uh, head and east as well. Actually, yes. Uh, I will be uh, at the invitation of the United States Naval Academy because this could be the last year that we have the opportunity to have Navy uh, play in the Poinsettia Bowl because they're moving to the American Athletic Conference. And I've been invited to the Army-Navy game, and I'll be attending that on Saturday the 13th. And what's pretty cool about that is is uh, everybody who you talk to who has experienced the Army Navy game says there's nothing like it. The pageantry, the certainly the march on of thousands of midshipmen and uh, and cadets, and uh, I hear it's quite an experience. So I'm looking forward to that, and that'll be this weekend. But we will also have a march on of the midshipmen at the Poinsettia Bowl. So uh, 
uh, we'll, we will have a lot of the pomp and ceremony there. So yeah, once we talked about the football game, and, and again, when the Naval Academy comes to comes to town, they bring everything with them. And they do, and we're going to unfurl our football field size flag in the pregame show. A lot of fireworks. It's going to be quite a spectacle. Yeah, it's uh, be a great night. It'll be outstanding. So the uh, San Diego County Credit yeah. Union Poinsettia Bowl is December the twenty third at Qualcomm Stadium, six thirty p.m. kickoff. And uh, order tickets go to San Diego bowlgames.com or stop by window B at Qualcomm Stadium. All right, when we come we, back... we be taking a break now, Bruce? We're going to take I a break. do this remotely. You know? yeah, well, not very well from what I've... <laughs> but wow. we've been able to pull it off. <laughs> uh, when we come back, we're going to talk to Kevin Gemmel. He is the Pac-12 analyst on ESPN.com. We're going to talk about the USC Trojans and uh, see how uh, USC is shaping up for the National University Holiday Bowl. Uh, you're right, listening. You all are listening. To To Bowl Bowl Game Radio on the San Diego Diego Bowl Bowl Game Media Network. And the Mighty 1090. 